21-year-old Sherry Miller was working as a waitress at the meat market bar in Los Angeles, California when she met a man named William Bradford. He told Sherry he was a professional photographer and offered to help her build a modeling portfolio. Sherry was living in her car at the time and jumped at the opportunity. On July 4, 1984, she accompanied William to a remote campsite north of Los Angeles where he strangled her to death. Once Sherry was dead, William cut off her tattoos and took off her blouse. He then drove her body to Hollywood and left it in an alley next to a parking lot. When Sherry's body was found, it could not be identified and she was called Jane Doe No. 60. A week later, William did the same thing to teenager Tracy Campbell. He left Tracy's body at the campsite and covered her face with Sherry's blouse. Police investigating the crimes went to William's apartment when they learned he was the last person to see Tracy alive. They found photographs of Sherry and Tracy as well as 54 other unidentified women. William Bradford was arrested, charged, tried, and convicted of both murders in 1988 and sentenced to death. He was only ever convicted of two murders, but he may have murdered more than 28 women. He died of natural causes in prison in 2008.